today we are going to see uh, in the phase rule topic uh, degree of freedom f we know that phase rule is given by the formula phase rule is given by the formula f is equal to c minus p plus 2 f is equal to c minus p plus 2 uh, in this phase rule f is degree of freedom c is component and p is phase now, number of phase number of phases c is number of components f is degree of freedom and 2 is constant this phase rule we have seen already in the previous lectures that this phase rule is given by Willard Gibbs American physicist in 1876 and we have also seen the what is component what is phase what is phase we have also seen uh, these two uh, factors these two factors and today in the today's lecture we are uh, going to study what is f f is nothing but degree of freedom f is nothing but degree of freedom f is degree of freedom what is degree of freedom in the given system the minimum number of variables which we must know the minimum number of variables which we must know to define the system to define the system for the definition of system for the complete study of system the required number of minimum variables is nothing but degree of freedom for that system degree of freedom for that system okay <coughs> when f is equal to 0 suppose f is equal to 0 it means that degree of freedom is 0 when value of f is equal to 0 it means that degree of freedom for that system is 0 that is this system is non variant system there is a no single variable we should know to define the system degree of freedom is 0 and another name for that system is non variant system non variant system next f is equal to 1 when to define the system it is necessary to know the one variable only one variable we should know then it is said that this system is having degree of freedom 1 this system is degree of freedom 1 for that f is equal to 1 f is equal to 1 it means that degree of freedom is 1 and this system this system is known as univariant system when f is equal to 1 univariant univariant and when f is equal to 0 then it is non-variant non-variant system when f is equal to 2 it means that to define the system completely to study the system thoroughly to give the detailed explanation of the system when we need two variables then the value of f is 2 value of f is equal to 2 and such a system is known as bivariant such a system is known as bivariant and similarly for f is equal to 3 the system is known as trivariant in this way there are different values of f 0 1 2 3 for the complete specification of system now we are going to see some examples for the detailed understanding of what is degree of freedom of this system let us consider one example suppose in the system there is a pure gas suppose in the system there is a 
प्योर गैस गैस में भी ऑक्सीजन नाइट्रोजन और एनी अदर बट दिस सिस्टम कंटेनिंग ओनली वन गैस एंड फॉर दैट सिस्टम ऑफ प्योर गैस for that system of pure gas we know that there is a equation pv is equal to rt pv is equal to rt what is given here what is given here that for a given sample of any pure gas pv is equal to rt if the values of pressure temperature be specified volume can have one definite value and the third variable which is volume is automatically fixed any other sample of the gas under the same temperature and pressure as specified above will be identical with the first one hence the system containing a pure gas has two degree of freedom has the two degree of freedom you know this equation you know pv is equal to yeah basically this equation is pv is equal to nrt pv is equal to Yeah, okay. Ideal gas equation. This equation is known as ideal gas equation. Yen is the number of moles. If we take the value of yen is one, then it becomes PV is equal to RT. When we study any pure gas using this equation, how many variables are there? Pressure, volume, and temperature. Pressure, volume, and temperature. And R is constant. Out of these three variables, if we know the values of two variables suppose pressure and temperature then we can calculate the value of volume we can calculate the value of volume and in this way just two variables we should know pressure and temperature our case may be different if we know pressure and volume then temperature can be calculated if we know volume and temperature then pressure value can be calculated in this way very simple concept pv is equal to rt for the study of pure gas out of four factors r is constant three variables are there p v and t out of these three variables if we know two variables then third variable can automatically uh, we can know by calculation in the in this way the two variables or values of two variables are necessary to define to study the system of pure gas how many variables are necessary only two variables it may be pressure volume it may be pressure temperature it may be volume temperature only two variables are necessary and hence the system consisting of pure gas has two degrees of freedom has the value of f is equal to true this is the first example by which we can understand what is degree of freedom suppose now take another example now take another example that a mixture of gases a system containing a mixture of two or more gases is completely defined when its composition temperature and pressure are specified if the pressure and temperature only specified the third variable composition can be changed since it is necessary to specify all the three variables to define the system completely it means that mixture of gases has three